David Sanger, national security correspondent for the New York Times, is here. Good morning. Morning, Nora. Russia tried to uh, interfere with the election, but to Kellyanne's point, did they influence the outcome of the election and tip it in Donald Trump's favor? I don't think anybody has found exactly. any evidence yes. that that has happened. And I think one of the interesting things that's going on with the Trump campaign right now, uh, or the Trump transition, is that they are confusing the fact set of whether the Russians came in, what they did, with the outcome. Right. And they could easily be in a position, I think, maybe after today's briefing, but maybe not, of saying, okay, they think the Russians were part of the groups that came in, but that it still didn't affect the outcome. I think so far they've sort of conflated those two. And that's why I asked the question yeah. in that way for that very point, because it is true, actually, that the Clinton campaign spent more money in Georgia and Arizona than they spent in Wisconsin and Michigan. No, that's, that's right. I think if the Russians had stayed out, you could have exactly the same result. But that doesn't necessarily mean the Russians didn't try. So what do we know about the evidence that the intelligence community is going to present to Donald Trump. This is an unprecedented meeting today. It, it is, and what's interesting is that the drama has been added by the fact that the president-elect has said from the beginning that he doesn't believe necessarily the Russians were involved. And I thought it was interesting that all through all of the three of the intel officials who testified yesterday had a pretty solid wall of saying the evidence. Is, is fairly clear. I think you'll see three different layers. I think you'll see the forensic evidence of where this came from. The, he'll probably hear about intercepts, including some of those you had. He probably will hear about implants, which are what the NSA puts inside the networks of foreign countries yeah, so that they can see the data. And if that data has shown up in Russia, that would tell you that the Russians had to get it somehow. Mm. What does this say about how Donald Trump will work with the intelligence community going forward when he's already questioning their capabilities yeah. and abilities? It's a really interesting question, Gail. I think there are sort of two fundamental things. One, many people in the intel community right now feel that their own integrity has been questioned, mm -hmm. and that's not a great way to start. Mm -hmm. The second is they wonder whether or not President-elect Trump wants to hear the fact base first and come to conclusions, or whether he's come to a set of conclusions and then wants to hear facts that fit them. Uh, in fact, they have suggested that the CIA has become politicized. You know, some of the people around Trump have said that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Charlie, if there's a critique of the intelligence community that comes out of this experience, I don't think it's that they rushed to any conclusions. It's that they moved too slowly. I mean, mm -hmm. the... We know that the first evidence that they had gone to the DNC came in the fall of 2015, and yet no one acted on this until April or thereabouts, yeah. while the DNC ignored some warnings, and the president said that he didn't hear about anything until early summer. Still, there's a the question, why is the president so elect. reluctant, the president-elect, so reluctant to, to accept what the intelligence agencies are saying? This is it simply he hasn't seen it? Well, I assume that they've given him some earlier version yeah, today is, is, is fuller. I don't know that for a fact. It may be this, simply this issue that he believes that this is an effort to question the legitimacy of his election. Uh, I, I, and, and that's certainly what you hear from the people around him. And I think the question is, can they separate him today yeah. from that conclusion and the facts. And you know what? It may not have simply been the Russians who got in. The DNC was so wide open. Mm -hmm. You could imagine other groups as well. What do you make of reports that the Russians were celebrating Donald Trump's victory? And Kellyanne Conway telling us today, well, why would the Russians want him to win? Well, for one thing, the Russians had a thing about Hillary Clinton. That goes yes. back to their days of thinking that well, she yes. messed around in their 2011 election. Mm -hmm. The second is that it's not clear to us from the reporting that we did for a, a long piece we were on talking about a few weeks ago, right. whether these intercepts of celebration were celebration that their operation had won or okay. celebration that Hillary Clinton had lost. Yes. And those are two different things. Beyond Hillary Clinton, we do know that Vladimir Putin has said that the relationship is really bad with the United States. That That's has right. to do with the Obama administration, not some future. Right. And, and maybe Mr. Trump believes that this report is getting in the way of his effort to rebuild that relationship. Really interesting. I have a feeling David Sanger will be back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's our You're a good talker, David. Yes, yes, you are. You got a lot of good information. Thank you, right. David. <laughs>